Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space, back with another video. Firstly, I apologise for my voice if it goes funny. I'm still dealing with a throat bug. Seriously, this bug loves me too much to leave me. Four weeks later and it's still bugging me. Oh. Um, so I have got a very sore throat, but I thought I'd do this anyway. Empties. Yay! Trying to use stuff up, so where will I start? Um, so it's a bit of an empties and a review video. Um, so since my last video, which was a while ago, haven't been using up much lately. A lot of this has been sitting here. Um, and my bag got full, so it was time to do it. So I used up some glue sticks. I used these for collaging. Um, usually just buy off-brand. These are from... I think that's a Kmart one. Um, no idea. Can't remember. That's a Reject Shop one. That was a Reject Shop one, or an Office Works one, for a dollar. Um, didn't really see much difference between paying the more expensive for the extreme. Um, they all work really, really well go through a lot of the glue sticks but we are down to only a few at the moment which is good I'll have to go purchase some more okay on the sound of glues matte, um, matte mediums or Mod Podge or whatever you prefer um, I'm not a brand snob I will pay I will buy whatever um, is on special or on clearance um, and use it this one I don't particularly like I know um, some other YouTubers swear by it, the Montmark Acrylic Medium, but I find it comes off. Like, it will peel off and peel my collage images off. Now, I don't know whether I've got a bad batch. This one is several years old, so I used up the last little bit of it. But I like it because it's matte, as in it's not gloss, but I didn't like the formula of it. So I probably wouldn't purchase that one again. It is a good price if you want to try stuff out. It's $5.50 for a little bottle, so it's not that expensive. Um, 135 mils, but I personally don't like it and personally wouldn't buy it again. Um, Mod Podge, this one was a cheapo from, um, or an on special from Linkraft. Mod Podge, this is the paper version, but this is the gloss. I didn't realise that when I bought it. I don't like it. I do have several bottles to use up, so you will see it unfortunately again and again. Um, because I bought it on special, and I didn't really read the gloss bit. As I said, I buy my glues and stuff on special. And if I am low on my supply, I will buy whatever. Um, at the moment, I have a a supply of Liquitex, so I'm right for a little while. And hopefully, it gets me through to December when I can go to Linkraft and they're 40% off and pick them up again. Um, so this one's very sticky. I've had to put um, clear... <coughs> lost my train of thought. Clear, clear, clear gesso over the top to dull down the glossiness or put some clear shoe polish over the top so my journal pages don't stick together. I find it's a great glue. It sticks really well, but I don't like the glossiness of it. I do like Mod Podge in the matte in other bottles. Um, and I don't know what the difference is between paper and the normal Mod Podge. I haven't seen a difference. This is my absolute favourite. Let me have a sip of water. This is my absolute favourite brand, Liquitex, but it is so expensive here in Australia. This one is about $22 regular price. I'd never pay that. I usually get them 40% off. So this one's actually matte medium. It's more liquid. <clears throat> this one is liquidy, but it's a bit thicker. So this one's more of a really liquid. So this one only works on really thin, works great on thin papers. But if you've got thicker, hard, thicker stronger papers like cardstock and that, it doesn't work. So I love this. I would love to be able to get that cheap, but here in Australia it's not. We don't have things like consistently 40% off or 50% off uh, vouchers or coupons to go to our like Spotlight or Linkcraft or your hobby, So and Michaels, to get things like this. On a weekly basis, we get vouchers very, very, not very often. Um, next, I'll do these together because I did purchase them together. So Gesso and Texture Paste. They're by Murray's brand. I actually found these in Adelaide several, several years ago. Oh, it would be three or four years ago. Um, and have used, decided to try them because they're only like $8 for a pot. And these pots were, I think, 500 grams. 500 mils. So for about $8, um, I thought I would try them. I found the gesso -y very plasticky. Um, I watered it down and it worked a little bit better. The texture paste was good. It was just texture paste. I don't actually see this brand. I've never seen this in my local um, local town or in Melbourne where I shop. So I don't know whether it's an Adelaide thing or not. Um, so the gesso I used up completely. So that was really good. The problem I had with the texture paste, and I have this with several texture pastes, um, 
is unfortunately once the once the bottle got down like there's about a third left of it but it's so hard I can't even get down with a paddle pop stick um, so unfortunately I find this with a lot of texture paste once your jar gets about three quarters empty and the air gets in there even though it's airtight it tends to dry out so that's a bit of a waste um, and I tried getting it out with a spoon and a spatula and it's just too too thick and it doesn't spread well and it doesn't go well so I might try experimenting with putting a piece of cling wrap into the jar to seal it um, like press it down on top of the texture paste but it was hard to get into this jar um, used up a few rolls of packing tape or washi tape for my decorative tapes so I left a slither on this one so you can see what's on it so we used up that stripy one which was a packing tape Trying to, I've got several rolls of different designs of these I've bought I haven't been using them so I've been using them to seal envelopes this heart one um, what I will do is I will peel this off this is if I can get it off the last layer is stuck to the cardboard so what I tend to do is peel that off I didn't so I could show you what designs they were throw the tube away and this I can just use like a sticker I just have to put glue on it <coughs> this one's the same so when this gets like this don't necessarily throw it out you've still got a bit of um, tape to use you just have to use glue so it's a couple of those and I used up a whole roll of washi this was only five meters of sparkly glittery but I made some cards some peacock inspired cards and I don't think this last a little bit's gonna come off and I used up a whole five meter roll of washi now it's probably the first it's not come off it's probably the first roll of washi I've ever used up because they're so long that was a Kmart brand <sighs> what else um, used up one tube of paint haven't been doing a lot with paints lately just little bits um, must get back and do some more gel plating so this is just a cheap one I love the color that's a rose it's called rose it come with some canvases that um, we bought to do our handmade art with so the paint is acrylic but it stinks to high heaven but the color is amazing in that one um, rub and buff this is again disappointing um, it has hardened again it's several years old but I don't know maybe the lid wasn't on properly I think the lid's got a crack in it that's probably the reason um, so rub and buff this one cost me a lot in Australia and I'm very disappointed it's gone hard but that's what you get when you lose things in your stash when you move house and don't unpack all your boxes so it's a great product the rub and buff it's like a metallic rub that you can rub onto things like metals and um, works really well on chipboard and stuff um, but unfortunately that one has dried up so that one's in the bin white pens the bug of my existence lately <coughs> this is my absolutely favorite white pen now I have seen since I put these in my empties packet I have seen uh, the frugal crafter refill a poshka pen so I'm gonna have a go at that and I may do that in video and I want to see if I can refill this one I don't know whether I can this was my absolutely favorite sharpie paint pen it comes got a quite fine tip it come in a class box so I didn't actually buy it so I've looked at office works and looked at several places I can get it online but I prefer not to order it online I prefer just to pick up one pen in a local store poshka pens I can get at my office works but this one dried out so white paint pen so I might put those to a side and see if I can just gotta see if I've got a pipette so I can pick up stuff to put in it um, we'll see if I can renew those black pens hmm a variety of black pens have just ran out again these two are we wouldn't bother refilling any of those ones these ones are pit brush pens One's a medium and one's um, a, a, a small tip. Oops, that's come out. I have tried to get the tops off these. As you can see, the tops are all mangled and don't sit there properly to refill them. But they have not, did not work with India ink putting it down. Maybe they were too dried out. So unfortunately, pit brush pens are my favourite pens. Um, but unfortunately these two have had better days and I would purchase these again um, it's just as again the frugal crafter and I've mangled that top so it doesn't even sit on there anymore the frugal crafter did refill these with um, Indian ink which I do have but um, unfortunately it didn't work so they go in the bin 
This one was an oil-based one. I got a pack of two or three from Daiso. Great black texture. It stinks to high hell because it's oil-based. thing I liked, it's had a really chunky tip and it had a like a bullet tip. Um, good for doing borders and outlining and big bold things, but unfortunately that one's run out as well. A Sharpie or is this a off-brand? A Sherpie, an off-brand Sharpie. Um, and these are some of my sketching. What's this one? Oh, that's a brush pen from Daiso. That one again I used up. That one's really cool to play with. This one I've had for absolutely ages. Again, sorry, go back to this one. This one's a brush pen from, a permanent pen from Daiso as well. <coughs> this one I've had from absolutely ages. Artline Ergo Line. So this one's a really, really fine tip. Does it say how fine? 0.4. And I do a lot of my sketching and line work in that. And I absolutely love it. I love the, the, the feel of the pen. I like the line it does. Um, it's a bit thicker than normal pens, which I like to hold. So I'm going to look out for those ones. And last but not least, what are these ones? These ones I picked up on our favourite place we don't name anymore. Um, I picked up a set of these. This is the 0.4 and the 0.8. And this is a uni pin fine liner. I can't read what that is whatever um so these are some of the the pens i do my fine work, line work in as well when i'm just doodling and drawing in my sketchbooks um so i find once they become scratchy or they start to skip i don't like them and i do put them aside in the empties container just because i like a pen that <coughs> excuse me i like a pen that runs really nicely and cleanly when i'm drawing like that i don't like ones that skip and scratch and I find these type ones I do kill quite often with the little felt tips but this particular one must have a better tip on it because I don't kill that one as much or I have killed the tip on it but I don't kill it as much um, so that is my empties for the last few months I'll see if I can put the months in it but I'm not sure whether I can find my last video I'd love to hear your opinions on different products or if you've got a favourite product or a favourite white paint pen. Or I know some people have suggested gel pens, so I'm on the hunt to find some gel pens. I thought I might even try some wipeout pens to see if I can get a fine enough line with that. But that is my empties from the last few months. I'll come back in several months when my bag gets full again. Haven't been doing much crafting in the last month because um, Alexis and I have been unwell this, with his buggy thing that just does not want to leave us it's not invited to be in our throat anymore it can go away um so i will leave you there hopefully you're using up a lot of your supplies if you're using up a lot of your supplies it's mean you're actually getting art done which is fantastic talk to you all later bye for now